So we've seen two of the easiest things that you can do in Word, which is to get yourself a blank document and to actually type something in it. If I don't save it, I can't use it again in the future. So my options are to go to File, Save the Document. Now there is a Save As option, which allows you to save a document with a new name. Because I've actually not even saved this document yet, it doesn't matter which of these I pick, I'm going to be taken to the same place. The Save As will only come into play when I've already previously saved the document and I want to save it with a new name. Notice the keyboard shortcut here is Command S, or Save As, Shift Command S. Two very useful keyboard shortcuts. Now when we go to save a file, we're given the Save As dialog box, Notice here what Word does for the file name, it suggests the first sentence. Quite a long file name and usually not appropriate, but sometimes it is if you use the title as your first line. That is not an appropriate file name for this particular file, so I need to delete the file name by pressing delete on the keyboard. I'm going to keep the extension .docx, that is the file extension for Word documents saved in 2016, and then I need to give this file a sensible name. Now you can have spaces in file names, I just have a habit of not using them. Where do I want to save the file? The default here is the Documents folder on your Mac. If you don't want to save in the Documents folder, click here and choose another folder. I'm actually going to choose Desktop. I can also choose to change the file type. Currently, it's a Word document. You'll see I can change that into one of another common type. I'm going to stick with the default for the moment. We will explore these other types shortly. And if I'm happy with saving it on the desktop with this file name, then I can click Save. And my document is then saved and it sits on the desktop. If I want to save it as, this will allow me to either give the file a new name or a new location. Bear in mind the original file with the original name and the original location will still exist. We're effectively creating a copy. What I wanted to do here is click this option, Online Locations, which then gives you access to OneDrive which is your Windows storage location that you get when you log in with Microsoft Office. So you need a Windows account. If you're not logged in, then you don't have access to OneDrive. In the OneDrive, I then have a number of folders in my OneDrive location that I want to save my file within. If I don't want to save on OneDrive, I want to save on my Mac, then I click on my Mac, and I'm given the Mac dialog box. If I want to have a choice of other locations on my Mac other than those available to me in the Where dialog box, then I simply click this little arrow here. And then on my left, I can see Favorites, one of which is the Desktop, or one of which is iCloud. So although the online locations will be the tempting choice if you want to save in your iCloud, online locations is just for non-Apple online locations. For your Apple online locations, as in iCloud, then you come through the Mac. And then we have a choice of drive, desktop. This training option is who I'm logged in as. And then documents are my documents. And then I'm also connected through to Dropbox as well. So we have a Dropbox option here. Now if I wanted to save on my desktop, but then into my working files, into the current chapter, which is chapter two, then I can go and save my document as my first document inside chapter two as a Word document, save. You need to decide where you're going to save your documents on your Mac, online in OneDrive, if on your Mac, whereabouts on your Mac. When the document hasn't been saved yet, then File and Save will give you an option for a name and a location. Subsequent to that, File and Save will simply top up the save, keeping the same name and the location for this particular file. So if I were to add a bit more text, then I would need to do File and Save just to top up the changes since I last saved. But if I want to change the location or the file name, then I go to File and Save As, Decide wherever I'm saving on my Mac, which includes Mac-related online locations such as iCloud and Dropbox. If I want to save in OneDrive, then I choose Online Locations, and that takes me to my OneDrive, or I can swap back to the Mac, and that changes to all the Apple locations. On my machine, it may be on the desktop or the documents that I wish to save this particular file, and then the file name is up here. And then Save saves the file. I'm asked if I want to replace it because I've done a save as, but I've kept the file name and the location the same. So yes, I want to replace it because it's the same file. So we have File, Command S, Save As, Shift Command S, that will allow you then to give a different location and a different file name. But the original file will still exist with its original name in its original location. 
I would suggest you save the file with a name early on in its creation, and then after that, Command S to top up the save. File and save, Command S, or even the little disk icon here to top up the save of any changes you've made. 